Senator Joe Manchin and White House officials are sending some mixed messages on when they say Americans will feel the impact of the so-called Inflation Reduction Act signed into law yesterday. Listen to this. Is it misleading to call this the Inflation Reduction Act for Americans when it's not going to make their grocery bill cheaper? It's not going to make everyday goods cheaper for them? Why would it? Why would it? Well, immediately it's not, but we never said anything happened immediately. Like today, it's turned the switch on and off. This bill will have immediate impact for the American people, and it will also take on some of the longer-term economic issues that we have never really fully taken on in this country. You will see that impact, and you, you talk about prescription drugs. Some of that will roll in a little bit later as they do the negotiations, but some of it will be effective within months. So it's, it, I think you'll see real impact for people ASAP. Joining me now, South Carolina Congresswoman, House Oversight and Reform Committee member, House Transportation and Infrastructure Committee member, Nancy Mays. Congresswoman, a pleasure to see you. What do you make of this mixed messaging? Well, it's all a lie. I mean, honestly, Biden pink, pinky promises that he's going to reduce inflation with the Inflation Reduction Act. But the truth is, inflation will be affected by 0.25%, a quarter of a point, in about seven or eight years. And so it is not going to have an immediate impact. This is all about November and trying to get some momentum. And when Biden says that there's zero inflation, the truth is that was a lie too. July was 8.5%. I went to the grocery store yesterday with my kids and eggs were up almost 50%. We spent 250 to $300 on groceries, more than we spent in I can't tell you when for the week. Uh, and every family is facing those same challenges when they go to the store and they're making tough decisions on what they buy and don't buy. Uh, but we're seeing the price increases exponentially at the gas station and the grocery stores. I will just, and I'm going to bring Patrice on Wuka in. But I will just quote from a Greg Ipp column last week. Greg Ipp writes for the Wall Street Journal, not an opinion writer. He covered the Federal Reserve, longtime journalist. He wrote, the timing and composition of this bill mean it will actually have virtually no impact on inflation in the next few years when it matters most. And Biden's agenda did not give priority to inflation, despite the rhetoric. In fact, all of the spending, I think it's $3.8 trillion in Democrat spending under Biden, it foments inflation. And even this Reflation and Reduction Act, Patrice, it subsidizes the purchase of goods and services, which is inflationary. Exactly. It's boosting demand on those high ticket, high price ticket items. You know, I think it's it's what's interesting is also the tax implications for regular families. Congresswoman Mace, I would love for you to speak to the fact that we have, you know, the Congressional Budget Office releasing, uh, you know, a, a analysis that income taxes are going or taxes are going to rise on middle class families. Can you speak to that? Certainly, the CBO, the Congressional Budget Office, when they were uh, detailing the, the, the cost of this bill, didn't even have the final numbers. We're talking about $485 billion. We're talking about taxes that will be raised on the American people. When you have a subsidy, when you're taxing businesses large and small, somebody's going to pay that bill, and it's going to be working families and individuals uh, in this country. Inflation will continue to go up because deficit spending is a, is a major contribution to inflation. That's why we're here in the first place. So are higher taxes. There were 42 new taxes taxes in the inflation bill just last year and not to mention the Federal Reserve is printing trillions of dollars every single year. All of these things are affecting inflation. If we were going to really try to stop the buck and stop the tide and stem the tide of inflation, we would be cutting taxes. We wouldn't be doing deficit spending. We'd be spending money we have, not money we have to borrow from China and elsewhere. But that's not what the Biden administration is doing today. And it will harm workers across the country exponentially now and in the future. And President Biden and his cabinet members are expected to take a victory lap traveling to 23 states in the coming week to tout this spending bill, even though he's still, President Biden still hasn't visited the, the southern border. According to new Customs and Border Protection numbers, a stunning 2,100 pounds of fentanyl was seized at the border just last month. That's a more than 200 percent increase month over month. Congresswoman Mace, people are dying from fentanyl poisonings. Tens of thousands of people every year. And nothing from this administration. Your thoughts? 
Well, we had one hearing on the Oversight Committee last year, and it was about the northern border rather than the southern border. And this summer, the statistics are telling us that we're going to have over 2 million illegal immigrants apprehended this summer far surpasses where we were for in total for last year. We just had a police officer uh, was sickened by fentanyl, exposure to fentanyl on a drug bus just a couple of weeks ago in the state of South Carolina. I just had a friend bury his son via a fentanyl overdose. This is a an epidemic and a tragedy that is affecting every family across the country, whether they are on the border or not. And as you mentioned, uh, the Biden administration is visiting 23 states to tout the inflation reduction bill and they are not even bothered. They, he, Biden can't even be bothered to go to the border today. I'll be there in a few days checking it out again. Um, but our president needs to lead our country out of this mess instead of leading it into it. Well said. Congresswoman Nancy Bates, thank you so much for being here this morning. Always a pleasure to talk to you about um, the, the important you. things that impact everyday Americans. And the fact that nothing's getting done coming out of this White House that actually helps them. Thank you so much.